Hello everyone, I hope you are well, doing well. In today's video, we are going to see how can we create class diagram and sequence diagram using ChatGPT, Marmite.js, and Draw.io. But before starting, did you watch my previous video in which I talked about how can we create UML diagrams with the help of ChatGPT, Marmite.js, and Draw.io? If you are new here, I am Asan and I post tutorials on this channel. If you might be interested in watching those videos, consider subscribing to the channel. Let's start today's video without any further delay. If you have any questions, comment now on this video. So I've opened the chat GPT. So first of all, I'm going to ask the use case, a sample use case from chat GPT. So we will use that use case in the whole chat and in the whole class diagram and sequence diagram. So let's ask for it. Give me a sample use case for product ordering. Give all actors with their functions. Let's see what it gives us. So here is the result. Our use case name is product ordering system. And it contains about six actors and it also given us the functions of each actor for customer sales representative, etc. And if you will see right here, it is a sample use case flow. So this is the sample scenario ChatGPT gave us. Like you can see that customer logs into the online store or visits the physical store. Then it customer browses the product catalog, add items to the shopping cart and proceeds to the checkout. So these are some scenarios in this use case. So ChatGPT generated them all. Now what you have to do, you have to ask what is Marmite.js. So why I am entering this prompt, what is Marmite.js? This prompt is to avoid uh, syntax errors in the Marmite.js code because ChatGPT generated some syntax error from Marmite.js. So first of all, you have to type what is Marmite.js. So it will know that you are going to ask something related to Marmite.js. So just, you don't have to do anything with the result of this prompt, but it is necessary that you will enter this prompt. So let's see what it gives us. So it has generated some introduction and a sample syntax code for the Marmite and some conclusion right here. But we don't have to do anything with that. Just it is just for example. Let's move forward to our main task, which is about class diagram and sequence diagram. So I'm going to ask ChatGPT to generate a simple sequence diagram and a class diagram for my use case. Let's go with the class diagram first. So you have to type give Marmite JS port for class diagram related to my use case. Let's see what it gives us. So here is the result from the chat GPT and it has generated some Marmite.js code for the class diagram. Let's copy it. Now what you have to do is to type draw.io and it will open this type of website. You will see like this. You have to click on create new diagram as we did in our previous video. You can create blank diagram and name anything that you want. I'm just naming it as sample and save it in your device. Now, if you see that in the top menu bar, you will see that there is an option arrange. You have to click on it, go to insert, and in the sub menu, we will find advanced option. Now in here, you will find Marmite. And in here, you can just paste the code that you just copied from the Marmite.js. Yes. Let's paste the code and see what it gives us. Then you have to click on insert to generate the class diagram. Now you can see that it is very much better than Marmite.js original editor because you can just customize this diagram according to your needs. Marmite JS does not allow this thing for customization. And it is the best thing about Dodo.io that they give us the Marmite JS option for generating the diagrams with the help of the code. You can see that all actors are there and their functionalities and their relations too. Now let's move forward towards the sequence diagram. I'm going to just copy this prompt again and you have to paste this prompt. You have to type give Marmite.js code for sequence diagram. Just you have to change this one sequence diagram and press enter. Let's see what it gives us. So this is the result from ChatGPT upon asking the sequence diagram code for Marmite.js. I'm going to copy this code and see the results, what it generated. And you have to delete first the previous diagram and then go to the arrange, then insert, then advance and go to Marmite again. Paste the code that you just copied from the ChatGPT. Insert it and you will see something like this. Now this is a perfect sequence diagram. You can see that all actors are there and their use and their functionalities are there like authorized payment from the warehouse to the payment gateway and etc. And, and other things like that. So you can see that how perfect is this diagram and you can definitely edit this diagram according to your needs. If you find any syntax errors, you may have skipped this prompt. What is Marmite JS? You can see that I didn't get any syntax error from ChatGPT code. So I asked ChatGPT first, what is Marmite JS? And if you ask the customization of the sequence diagram in Dodo.io, then you can just click on it and change the colors for the 
entity is right here for the actress right here. And you can also change the color of the lines. You can always change the fonts and etc. sector according to your needs. And there is also a possibility that ChatGPT generates some mistakes in the response. So you can obviously edit them in this door to dio But in Marmite.js, they did not allow us to customize in, the, in their edit. So this was all about today's video. If you like the video, click the subscribe button and don't forget to click the bell icon so you will be notified when I publish the next video. Thank you guys for watching.